parents met through basketball. My dad, he was getting jerseys for his team, and uh, he went to a store my mom was working at. And when he approached her and told her he needed jerseys, she uh, she asked him what color he, he wanted, and he, he said, teal. She just burst out laughing after that. <laughs> And I, I guess it was just, I guess things just took off from there. My dad was a big fan of sports. I mean, he loved, he loved everything, especially baseball. He, he was an umpire, like, like one part of his life. Actually, he even wanted to become a coach for, for like little leagues and whatnot. And when I asked him why he never did, I'm not 100% sure this is what he said, but he said something like, it just slips by you. And, uh, yeah. yeah. So, said he became a construction worker delivering lumber for companies and just being a, being a father to me and my sister. I best I can, well, I can say what my dad's best trait was is that, um, he always knew how to make you laugh, you know? You know, whether we... Where we say something, something stupid or smart, he would always have a witty comeback for, and it would just get us like bawling all over the floor. And he always have a lot of stories to tell. Uh, stories from his past, like how how he would get into fights with his brother, get into fights with bullies at school. <laughs> yeah, he did a lot of great things as a father. You know he. Helped me get my driver's license. Taught me how to drive. He especially told me never to half-ass anything. Which means, you know, just always do your best. And he was a good man. Dad was also quite the drinker. Uh, sometimes it wasn't too many bottles or beer cans, but... Later in life, it kind of just started to grow excessively. I'd find bottles in the bathroom cabinets, in drawers, like, just all over the place. And, uh, he wasn't always the most likable person. And there were times I just wondered why he was acting this way, like, for, for such petty things, you know? And... It just, I mean, and what did I do to deserve such hate for him? Because I didn't do anything wrong. Or if I did do anything wrong, it wasn't worth the punishment he gave me or the yelling he gave me because I was just a little kid. And I wanted to hate him so much for it. Like, I wanted to hurt him the way he hurt me. And now, now he's dead because... Because he didn't know when to put the fucking bottle down. And I will never, never be able to confront him about it. What right did he have to do that, that fucking asshole? But I can never hate him. It's my dad. I love him too much. But she was here. I want to have more memories with him. Is that too much to ask for? Just, just five more minutes? Just tell him that I forgive him? I love him no matter what? All I can do is just... Keep living for his sake. I love you, Dad. And I hope you don't hate me for all the things I'm saying right now because I'm not trying to put you in a bad light. I'm just trying to give an honest p portrait of you.
guess that's it. 